So most of you guys actually voted the reverse peck deck to come out on top. While it did perform quite well, the top exercise was instead one of my personal favorites and something we use a lot in our Built With Science programs. It's the double arm reverse cable fly. But the setup and form is what seemed to make all the difference. If you look at the anatomy of the rear delts, they travel at roughly a 45 degree angle away from the body. The reverse pec deck, since the arms are held up at shoulder height, doesn't line up the tension very well with this. But with this exercise, by setting the cables high and pulling the arms down and back at a 45 degree angle from the body, it lines up the constant tension from the cable almost perfectly with the rear delts, which is probably why it performs so well. Before I show the other winner, let's talk about face pulls. This was the second most voted for exercise to win for rear delts activation. However, it didn't perform very well at all. Part of it is due to what we just talked about. Face pulls keep the arms up, yet the 45 degree arm angle seems to be optimal for the rear delts. But another big part of it is stability. It's very hard to use heavy weight with proper form on face pulls as it often causes you to tip over or use other muscles instead. 